good morning it's almost seven in the morning I didn't get to sleep much last night and it wasn't because of the cold as I expected it was actually fairly warm to sleep so which is good but um, I was having quite a paranoia about bears <laughs> almost all the night um, so the wind was rustling some tree leaves maybe some some grass here in this field and yeah my you know in the darkness your head gets uh, really really focused on on the noises and yeah my mind was just constantly thinking trying to identify each noise, trying to identify if it's a bear footstep that I can hear. So yeah, that was quite annoying. Um, don't know how I'm going to deal with that in, in the next night, but that's a problem for later. Maybe I'll be so tired that I'll just fall asleep. Yeah, my girlfriend today just fell asleep like that and she didn't seem to mind at all. So yesterday I hid, I put all our food in a bag and hung it on a tree a little bit further away from our camp, just for safety reasons. Let's see if any bears actually came here to, to snack. Nope. Still here. <laughs> Look at this view. So our plans have changed a bit, we decided to do a little bit of hiking before, before we do breakfast. Maybe we'll find a nice bench to sit on. I've, I've seen some yesterday when we were getting here, so maybe we'll be lucky going forward. Found a nice place to stop for breakfast. Oh, it was quite a hike to get here. Only took an hour, but uh, it was very steep all the way uphill. I'm tired. Time for breakfast. So today's episode is sponsored by Polish farmers who were kind enough to give us some corn <laughs> and we are planning to make quinoa with, uh, with some fried vegetables basically. So yeah we have corn, 
Uh, we have avocado, we have an onion, a few cloves of garlic and some coconut oil.
Come on. Come on. Come on. So worth it. So worth it. Oh yeah. Look at this. So that's roughly where we slept in that clearing. Oh my god. Um, and that's where we had breakfast. This is where we are now. So since this spot has a nice overview, I'll give you a few more details about our plans here. Um, we started in that little town called Zuberitz, uh, and as I said yesterday we camped somewhere over there, in that open field. And now we are standing here looking at our finish sort of and it's that mountain Velki Hoch um, it's quite far away it's still like 30 kilometers away so it's at least three day hike to get there um, we have enough supplies in our backpacks to last us probably even longer which is good that means that we can deviate from the plan if we decide to well we'll have to go down now and then up here and then we'll go on this ridge and then we'll reach the top of uh, a, a small peak and then there are a lot of other peaks following that i don't know how many of them will do it will depend on our energy Maybe some parts of the route towards that mountain will take, I don't know, somewhere in the valley. Some parts will probably climb up. It, it will depend how we feel. And <laughs> interesting reason uh, why I chose that hill as the destination is <laughs> when I was working in an office, being bored, I used to do this thing where I would, um, well, every time I tur turned on my PC, it would show a nice image of mostly some nature, and then I would figure out where that 
image originated from and I would mark it on the map as a want to go flag and now I have like 150 of those flags all over the map. Whenever I reach that, that spot I, I mark it as a star means that I already accomplished that mission. Driving here it was quite spontaneous we didn't know what we were going to do all we did we, we packed our backpacks enough supplies for like four days and we didn't even know where we wanted to go we thought okay we'll go where our eyes are leading us and as I was looking at the map it turns out that that mountain is actually one of my to-do list items so it's uh, quite obvious <laughs> that I have to reach it but now it's a bit more chill time and trying to reach Olitsa and we'll see where we go from there I guess it's this way up off-road hiking trying to reach that path over there and we found a shortcut for, through this <laughs> Vitamin C. <sighs> so, for reference, this is marked as a path on our map uh, barely visible really overgrown and gotta push through uh. yeah by the way it's really hot right now we are sweating like crazy it's like 30 degrees celsius but can't complain with these views I hear water somewhere here How to reach it? Okay. No, this is not deep enough will 
take a long time. Seems like I finally found a place to refill. Yes. Oh. Yeah, there is water flowing with... It's so overgrown here. Oh, finally. Yeah, I'm really tired now. Tired to walk. Tired to film. Tired to talk. Um, we are nearing our uh, destination for a, a longer stop maybe we'll take a nap even we'll definitely get some food made and eat and yeah probably nap after but it's still a little bit further like almost two kilometers away so we'll try to push through and have some rest time Yep. had to stop and take a short break because currently we are pushing through one of the most interesting paths probably no one has ever climbed this mountain using this path I only see deer footprints on this no human footprints and sometimes the path actually disappears oh shit, almost tripped um, so. <laughs> well, but it's the last push the peak is not too far, it's just barely visible. But yeah, I'm seeing deer footprints on it, so it was probably used only by animals. And we are on this sort of a cliff. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing and then we'll have finally our dinner. Is this deer leading us? Okay, one path there. And this seems like a small clearing. Yes. Oh, hello. Hello. This is the most beautiful path I've seen in a while. I want to kiss it. Look at these cute guys just chilling here. <laughs> beautiful. Almost at the top. <sighs> Finally, a clearing. We made it. If deer can do it, we can do it. Who needs hiking trails when deer can design deer trails? Yep, this will be a nice camping spot for tonight, I think. Yeah? yeah. 
Ja, ja. <laughs> Finally, Holitsa. But where is the actual peak? <laughs> hmm. Just a clearing. Okay, look, gonna look around for, for the peak. So we decided to continue going forward because we noticed that we don't have enough water for tonight. But now we came across this interesting hut. Let's check it out. No water around, but it's a nice spot to chill for a bit. <laughs> um, don't know what's inside this, but the door is locked. We'll just use the benches and relax for a bit. Cool. We have a little fireplace here with some benches. Nice spot. Oh, really chill. Well, this was a cool place. Really beautiful view. But we decided to keep on pushing. Be mainly because we are almost out of water. Uh, and we need some for cooking. We need some to just drink. Because today it was really hot. And we don't want to get dehydrated as well, so we are trying to drink a lot of water. Um, so the closest spot where we should be able to grab some is a kilometer away. And that should take us about 20 minutes. We are hella tired, um, but we decided to keep on going. And it's actually in the direction that where we need to go, so that's good. But that means that we don't know where we are going to camp still. And it's already 6 o'clock. Would be nice to have a campsite around 7 to just have some chill time before we go to sleep. Well, we'll see how it goes. Now the main thing is to get some water. Check this mushroom out! Yeah, maybe this is what Mario uses to level up. So, um, this is currently our best water source. <clears throat> and it's like just a little bit of water, puddles of water basically, on the road, on this path. I guess we'll have to keep on going. And we are almost all the way down from the mountain. We didn't find any better water source. So now the plan is to <laughs> continue going forward. Now we are approaching a, a road that we have to cross. And we hope for better water sources on the other side. Back to civilization. And away from civilization. Back to these shitty paths. Oh, really tired. Need to get water. Find a place to sleep. Today might be... A good lesson that sometimes it's best not to keep on pushing and just stop sometimes. 
but now we are in this situation again primary focus try to find water should be nearing a potential spring soon we'll see teeth We are in some sort of deer graveyard. Looks very inviting. Could be a potential camping spot. We know that there is water in the stream down there because we can hear it. So maybe this will turn out to be good. But I don't see any trees that we could hang our hammocks in here. Okay, maybe, maybe we can. Could be, could work. Yes. Yes, oh, this feels so good. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good mushroom? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good mushroom. King mushroom. Big boy. How is it? It's too old for us. <laughs> too old? To eat, yeah. Mm. Shame. It's okay. But it's such a big boy. Yeah. We were a bit too late, sorry. Maybe. Sorry, Mr. Mushroom. <laughs>